wouldn't do. I take it General Grievous has been destroyed, then. I must say you're here sooner than expected. In the name of the Galactic Senate of the Republic, you're under arrest, Chancellor. Are you threatening me, Master Jedi? The Senate will decide your fate. I am the Senate. Not yet. It's treason, then. Good evening, friends, and welcome to the front. Hey, everybody. This is the sidebar. This isn't the regular pull cast nightcap. We're not drinking, and uh, it is yeah. it is night. But this is uh, something we're doing a little different from from the the nightcap. This is kind of off topic. Um, just kind of anything, really, and it could go f- Whatever range from. Whatever comes to your mind, baby. Yep. That's what. <laughs> <laughs> well, this one did come to my mind, and it's something I've been thinking about for a little while now, but. Um, it, uh, it has to do with art imitating life or life imitating art. And I guess you can kind of see by the beginning of the, the intro that um, we're looking at Star Wars. Star yes. Wars. And just a quick uh, heads up, everybody. I never watched any of the Star Wars movie, movies until I, we got married. And, and then I was indoctrinated into the Star Wars family. Into a nerd cult. But the the scenes that we're gonna see is not that it's, the movie itself is not that favorable. Mm. But there's some good scenes in there. There was, and this scene in particular, I think, is the best. Don't worry, of... it's not Jabba. <laughs> it's not CGI Jabba. It's not. Although most of the movies, I don't want to, I don't want to, th- you know, throw them into the fire and say, because yeah. uh, I have seen all the prequels quite a bit. And uh, I have to fast forward through certain scenes, especially the the kissy face ones with Anakin, with, Padme, yeah, and Padme, and Padme. Jar Jar. I just can't. I, I feel like I want to eat him. You know, Jar Jar. Yeah. Like he should be on a skewer or something like that. But that's a side. Uh, that's another side topic or sidebar, perhaps a sidebar. For any of you that are wondering, like, who's that? It's kind of like uh, you know, talk at the water cooler, I guess. Shooting the, the shooting crap. the breeze, yeah. Shooting the breeze, or it's scuttlebutt for those of you uh, sailors and squids out there who are um, polywog or shellback. I happen to be a polywog, so never made it a pa- or past the equator. And I think it's prime meridian. You have to do both of those, and then you jump in a vat of garbage, and people tickle you or something like that on a ship. So really, sounds really interesting. Uh, <clears throat> I'll tell you about it some other time. Okay. So, but that being said. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for checking out um, our latest installment of uh, the podcast, but the first installment of the sidebar. So with that being said, I'm going to break down a little bit of what we're going to do. Right. So we are going to play the scene. That, that initial scene in the intro is kind of a buildup to the, to the actual scene. It is a part of it, but we wanted to kind of condense in it so we don't have uh, George Lucas and his plaid shirts coming after us with his legal team. So we don't have no money. We were very respectful of them. You know, I, I do love Star Wars. I was a fan of Star Wars. I remember I remember as a kid going to the drive in to see Empire Strikes Back and there was a playground in front of the screen. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And they had the you know, one of the things that like will like make you pi- like a yeah, like a uh pukatron or whatever yeah. it's called. And uh, I left my soda down on the side so I could build up some speed. Uh-huh. Well there was another kid behind me. Oh, no. And he kicked over my soda, and I, I just, I was devastated. And here I could see, I can remember the, dr- or the, the probes hitting the, the surface of Hoth, mm-hmm. and I'm over here crying about my soda. So Poor lady. I don't drink any soda, <clears throat> soda anymore because of that. It was a traumatic experience. Yeah, I bet. So, all in all, we're going to kind of uh, briefly touch on each one of the prequels too. We're not going to go in depth, you know, from the original ones because the original ones are actually the later ones and it gets kind of confusing. So we'll stay with the prequels, the three, briefly touch on the first two and how it essentially leads up to the third one. And in my interpretation of uh, the pretend Mm -hmm. that uh, acting, we call it pretend. Pretend Because let's, let's face it, folks. And it, it doesn't matter if you're the director or the actor. 
may I say the pretend nowadays is just horrible. Yeah, it's it's horrible. There's nothing to watch, and if there is, there's <laughs> some type of a political messaging behind it, or you know, there's some they're trying to cram something down your throat. Yeah, or it's it's just really bad writing. The yeah. script's bad, and I have to say, George, I don't know if George Lucas how much he wrote of the scripts for the prequels, but the first three weren't you know weren't anything. You know, there wasn't a lot of word wizardry going on, but they were solid. You know, the acting was good. Yeah. These not so much. And I don't know if part of it is because just the CGI aspect of it. It's so heavy. Maybe it's the CGI. Yeah, it could be. But there is this scene and it, 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 it's kind of a culmination of everything that builds up to this point. And in the slides, which we're going to go to right now, we'll bring up the first one kind of breaks down everything and where where we are in the Star Wars universe. Let's see. And here it comes. Here it comes. Boom. Okay. Oh my. There we are. It's uh it's 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 pretty uh, scattered, but um It's scattered, but what we'll kind of do is we'll kind of go in and out that way. Yeah. Kinda. We'll we'll go in and out. We'll start. So, as you can see at the top, I said is it art imitating life? Or life imitating art, and I, I think maybe I should rephrase that a little bit. Is it is it art predicting life, or art prophesizing about? It? Kind of like how the Simpsons. The Simpsons. I was yeah. just gonna say, like the Simpsons coming out, and yeah. Yeah, and we're we're almost to the end of this saga in our own world, and um, I kind of made some references as we move along, and I'll, I'll explain. So first, we have episode one. I put in there some of the worst pretending took place in the first prequel. It was pretty bad, especially with that young Anakin character. And I heard he was a little, he was a little turd, too, on the set. He went, like he was, he was, I mean, he thought he was going to be, yeah. you know. It, well, he was playing. One he was of playing Vader, yeah, yeah, I mean. But I guess his acting career didn't really blossom after that. It kind of took a nosedive hard into the nosedive candy if you know what i mean oh yeah he got into some trouble afterwards and blah 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 so in the beginning we get our first glimpse of this shadowy government you know there's this this figure you see him it's it's the emperor it's senator palpatine who is surprised he's he's always kind of the shadowy figure you know he never really truly reveals who he is yeah to the scene that we're we're gonna play here shortly so it basically starts off with this illegal invasion that takes place over a, a trade dispute of sorts. Uh-huh. And I kind of draw the similarities to that as far as 9-11. You know, and we're only going back the last 20 years. 9-11 happened. We were attacked. And, you know, we're like, oh, we got to do something about that. Lo and behold, we signed the Patriot Act. And we're, in, we're, we're going to war within a matter of weeks. We already got ODAs on the ground in Afghanistan and we're... Uh, meeting up with the Northern Alliance and yeah. doing some assist, train, and advise, otherwise known as UW in the SF community. So we had that happen. You know, and we, all, we get into a war front. We're, we're in a war footing now. So we move over to the second episode, which was a little bit better. Very heavy in the CGI. So if you suffer from, like, seizures or anything, you know, you, you could probably... Have it, you know, go into a seizure watching that movie or puke, one right. of the two. I, I did like some of it. I liked the fighting scenes, but it was almost like the cartoon version of uh, the Clone Wars. And maybe they should have just stuck with that. So it's a long and endless war. The Galactic Republic is on the verge of collapse due to separatist movis, movements. Think uh, socialist, uh, the elites that want to destroy yeah. essentially our way of life. And, 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 and it kind of is in the next little snippet there, but uh, I'll stay with this first. Um, you know, and then also friends of corrupt politicians and big business. You know, they're all kind of leading and spearheading this, this great reset. Sorry, my microphone's... Uh... Uh-oh, you having difficulties, love? Oh, yeah. Uh oh. It's okay. I mean, you're good. I just if you guys hear we'll anything, roll, we'll you guys with know what's going on. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and you know, there it's it's very similar to 
you have combat going on, full scale war. We're in this fog of war, you know, back here because essentially for 20 years we're fighting a war and we really didn't see any, what what were the gains that were being made? So like in episode two, you start seeing these developing faces. And if you see, I've got some faces merged together with Senator Palpatine, who is in fact the emperor. And it starts off really with Klaus Schwab, another German looking to rule the world. But don't worry, he's, he's Swiss. You know, it's only his father who was a Nazi sympathizer and making money off of the death of Americans and all of our allies during World War II. But we won't, we won't touch on him so much right now. We're, we're definitely going to get to him a little bit later in another show. So moving along, you have all these people that are involved over the last 20 years, and even Donald Trump, and I didn't get a chance to squeeze his, his uh, orange face in there as well, but... He is a part of that, too. Now, no, you're going to upset some of the I know I'm going to upset some people, but you have to realize he does have a part to play in this, too. All this stuff that this, this, this squeeze of power, a lot of it happened under his short no, four I agree. years. I agree. You, you know, but there's not going to be a president that we always no. agree with. We, we, we don't agree have, on everything. Right, we both have that understanding that if it came down to it, I'd take Trump over Biden in a John. freaking heartbeat that's right i mean i would take trump too come on man hey joe Joe, it is what it is stand down so then we get over to episode three and that's that's what we're focusing in on yeah so now the supreme chancellor our corrupt representatives in government he essentially represents that the one thing that i want to try to make really clear is is that we are not saying the system we are not saying the bill of rights we are not saying the Constitution. If, if you hire somebody for like a bus driving job, and he's like, yeah, I can do it. You know, all this, all this fanfare, people are like, woo, he's going to drive the bus. First day on the job, the guy gets in the bus, you know, packed full of kids. Right. And he doesn't make it 15 feet without hitting a, hitting a stop sign. Like, yep, well, we'll keep going, you know, and goes down about 100 yards. Bumps into the back of a car. Oh, my bad. Keeps going, and this, this continues to happen. He's running red lights. Right. He's hitting cars in traffic. And the whole time, he's saying, hey, it's not me. It's the system. Mm-hmm. It's the system that's flawed. Well, we don't necessarily agree with that. It's the flawed individuals that are at the top of the system. Mm-hmm. And, you know, the more... They squeeze us the more power they want. The more control over the, uh, us that they want, they just seem to want more. Right. And they're the ones that are saying, oh, this is, the system is racist. The system doesn't help uh, you know, the people on the bottom. It's that old saying, divide and conquer. Yes. And the division amongst just us as Americans, it's sad because that's not the America I grew up with. You know, and I don't care what anybody says because... Uh, nowadays, you say something and automatically you're deemed, you know, you're put in this category. How about you let you're me? You're a racist, sp- aren't you? How about you let me speak my mind? And if you don't like it, then don't talk to me. Don't listen. You know, it's simple as that. But absolutely. And so we just want people to understand that we're not talking about the system. The Bill of Rights, the Constitution, is to protect Americans. The Bill of Rights tells the government what they can't do to us. They can't Mm -hmm. can't take away our firearms. They can't take away our right to assemble. They can't take away our right to worship peacefully. They can't do any of those things. But yet they have, though. Well, much like Senator Palpatine, they have been able to cover us in this shroud or this fog of war. And trying, and the whole time they try to change the meaning of words. And now, and we we mentioned it in the last episode, that even the National Archives has come out and slapped a harsh language tab on the uh, on the Declaration of Independence yeah, and on the Bill of Rights. Uh. And when you're getting to that point, 
they the, the people that are that are driving the bus or steering the ship are looking for an iceberg to sink it essentially. Right. So they have to make sure that they're pointing out every, everything's bad. Everything's bad except for them. It's like they're the one killing, you know, committing all the murders and like, oh, it's the knife. Yeah. This the, this damn knife. The knife got out of the, the drawer. <laughs> got out of the drawer again. He started stabbing people. And he went, before he started stabbing people, he went to the refrigerator. Uh-huh. Let me write this down. Right. Got in some jelly. Make an official report. Got out. And then. Cut that sandwich and then cut my wife in half. So anyway, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll What's stop our rant. What's build back better? Well, that's kind of, and I, thank you for bringing that up, Smooch. That's, that's part of the fog of war. If you look in that, that, that rectangle, you see that, uh, who was that? Oh, it's Prime Minister from Great Britain. Yep. Um, there's the, uh, the minister. I. New Zealand? Is that yeah, New Zealand? That's New Zealand. You're right. Ding, 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 ding. And uh, Pakistan? Uh, I, I believe so, yeah. but you see Canada's involved. And that OECD is the office for, I believe, environmental and something else, evil, something, something. Yeah. Essentially, it's a UN program that um, we, we, we actually got a show that's coming up. We know what up. they're accomplishing a whole yeah. bunch of. A bunch of blue hats. And a bunch of people <laughs> making money up at that UN money, money, money. But we, we've got a we got a show coming up that's going to hit on a little bit more of this and break down because the the spider web that they have managed to lay over our entire world. This build back better. Build back better. Great reset. Anybody is is massive, and it is so. They're all working towards the same goal. You have all these... It's these not a conspiracy anymore. Well, it is a conspiracy. It's well, not a conspiracy theory. It's not a theory It is anymore. a conspiracy. It's a conspiracy. You're absolutely right. Mm-hmm. I take that back. It is a conspiracy, but it's not a conspiracy theory anymore because now you're having it, and every day that goes by, it becomes more and more clearer because they are not afraid anymore. They have the right individuals in the right seats to have orchestrate all this, so yep. they're very confident, very cocky, just kind of like very Newsom. matter of fact. Yeah, just like Newsom. It's <laughs> like, remember what I was telling you. I'm a you? snake oil salesman. I ain't got nothing to worry about. Remember what I was saying with, with my mom. With yeah. Mom, what, what she said. She was like, "They're not gonna let Larry Elders win." No. Are you kidding me? You well, think the established is gonna let him? And that's how she wore it. You know, the established. Yeah. You think they're gonna let Larry Elders win? And I was like. I just had a gleam of hope, just a little like string of hope. I was like, maybe, just maybe, but well, it I think didn't happen. I think, uh, like Stalin said, he who controls the mass, or he who controls the media, controls the masses. Yeah. And even your own brother, we we talked to uh, Jamal today, and he's out in California, and he said every other commercial on TV, yep, was about. Uh, they had Obama, Snake Eyes, uh, Newsom. Uh, yep, they were endorsing Newsom, and this is prior to the actual voting day. But it's just ridiculous. Maybe instead of doing commercials to, en- you know, endorse people, and I'm not really sp- speaking about Obama because he's he's not out of the picture, I assure you. But he's not in any office right now, so we need to focus more on the people that are in office. Right. Nancy Pelosi, Joe Biden, mm-hmm. Kamala Harris. Anybody see her lately? Where is she at? Isn't she supposed to be working at the border? She's laughing somewhere. She's I'm sure she's giggling that somewhere. enjoying her life. You yeah, or she's uh, somewhere on her knees. So let's move on to the next okay. slide. Okay. I, we'll, and we'll just, yeah. So we kind of laid, you know, what a basic understanding of what these three movies are about and what they're building to. Let's name the cast and characters. So here's a quick breakdown of who the pretenders are right. and who they represent. So in the scene we're about to play... Obviously, you have the, the main protagonist, I guess you could say, right. is, is uh, Senator Palpatine. And he is, a, he is essentially, he represents the elites in our world. The people pushing this build back better, this great reset, this everybody on digital currency, yeah. and this everybody under my boot. And we will, we will control everything. So he is what really plagues our world. Mm-hmm. And I mean, you only look, look at the Biden administration. That hasn't even been a year. 
and the world is on fire. And I think it's all done on purpose to accelerate this this great right. reset that they no, want. No, I, I, it's by design. But hey, by 2030, you won't own anything, and you're no. going to be happy. You'll be eating... Um, You'll be eating grapes, feeding grapes to each other. You're going to be... Cats are going to... Dogs are going to make. No, not just grapes. You'll be eating soy burgers. Soy and green? everything. And green everything. And listen, there's a reason why, like... For example, for myself, in the Quran, it says, you know, we're to grow our own, li- you know, our food, our own farm, or we're supposed to slaughter our own livestock just to know, you know, we've raised this. For example, if we had a a goat yeah, and we raised that goat, we fed it, we know what's going into that goat mm-hmm. versus... You know, some of these chickens that are now getting recalled. Hey, but if the government doesn't put a stamp on it, how do I know it's any but, good? But, you know, you, f- you, you just had an, arc- uh, an article just came out saying that there's a lawsuit for, I believe, 1.3. It's not very much. but 1.3 com- million or billion? Um, I'll have to re-verify that. I'll come back to that. Let me... You, are you talking about the chicken... Yeah, so they had Tyson and all these other companies coming mm-hmm. in. And mm-hmm. a lot of that's mm-hmm. processed meat, I get it. It sure is. But you you do have, like, uh, Tyson does also deal with... Oh, they got it. They, they deal with a lot of food. Yeah, they're huge. Mm-hmm. They are they are massive. Um, massive. Well, you go ahead and take that. I'm going to look this up. That way we don't uh Well, okay, short. so moving, moving on. So we have um, Senator Palpatine. And I purposely didn't didn't put what he really looks like because that that's kind of the theme for most politicians. I, I just consider them professional pretenders, much like most people in the entertainment business. They're just, they're too ugly to be in Hollywood and they're not very good actors. No. And they always have this mask on. Oddly, isn't that weird? Well, they want us to wear masks too. But they're always wearing a mask and you can't really see who they really are. But this scene, I believe, is a perfect illustration of who they really are once you take the mask off. So moving along, we'll go, we'll go down first to Mace Window. Okay. Mace represents everything that's, that's good about our country. And you may not agree with the founding documents, but I believe they are not perfect, but they are the best system of governance we have based on those documents, for the most people, most of the time. Mm-hmm. And that's, that's hands down. Our country has brought more people out of poverty in its short 244 years or 45-year existence than all of recorded hu- human history combined. It's not even close. Is it perfect? Absolutely not. Point to me the person in this world that is. And I, I guarantee you, these people on the screen right now None of them are. But they're running everything. Right. Especially that, that Nazi up at top. I'm sorry. Klaus Schwab up on top. Because uh, he has a lot to do with it. Like I said, we're going to get into a, him a little bit later once we finish doing all our research. Yeah, let's, on. let's bring it in. All right. Let's, okay. Wait, let's wait, wait, bring it in. Um, okay. So Mace, he represents, like I said, the Bill of Rights, the Constitution. And, and those politicians, those few politicians or civil servants, I'll say, because most of them are self-serving uh, servants. They just serve themselves. They, it repre- it, it, he represents people doing the right thing. So obviously you see Biden over there, and I'm not even going to get into that. You can read you know, what, what he's said, and for anybody who's looked into him, you, you kind of know. He sure is just like Senator Palpatine, because he's been there a long time, and he's done nothing but evil. Yeah. Now, Anakin, unfortunately is, I, I shouldn't say unfortunately, he is us. He is the people. He's not perfect. He, he came up as a slave and was freed and decided, well, I, I want to I wanna be a part of this. You know, I want to help. Mm-hmm. But over the course of the last, you know, several years, as we're looking at the Star Wars universe, he's been involved in war. Let mm-hmm. his mom die. A lot of a lot of hard things for anybody yeah. to take on in their life. 
And then he finds out through visions he's having that the thing that he cares most about in life that is uh, um, that is Padme. Right. And he has these visions where essentially she's going to die at some point mm-hmm. and he doesn't know how to deal with it. So he represents you know, us trying to deal with the uh, adversity in life and trying to, instead of walking those holes time and time again, trying to walk around them. But he can't shake this thing with, with Padme. You know, it's very strong. Mm-hmm. And you don't really see her in this clip we're about to show. But she represents... How about you, you want to bring it, come in a little bit? Bring a... Uh, oh, I thought you were going to pull up the video. Well, I'm, I'm going to hear in a oh, second. Okay. Um, I'm just going to explain like her, her role in all this. Okay. She's not seen in the, in the actual... She's not seen in the scene. Uh, but she represents, I guess, our lifestyle, our way of life. Because everybody, I, I got to imagine everybody right now at this point in our history, whether that's the United States or around the world, you are feeling the pinch of either COVID restrictions, overreach by government, mm-hmm. yep. change in, in uh, lifestyle completely, whether that's you know, not going to work anymore, working from home, or your kids working or going to school at home, or are they, you know, virtual learning, or are they back in school? Do they have to, you know, do they have to do certain things in order to attend school? So our world has changed. And you you throw in other things like, you know, uh, people being pitted against one another simply due to, to race and things like that. It it could drive anybody to the brink of insanity. Yeah. So now that we've kind of laid out who everybody is, we want to show this, uh, this quick scene. And then uh, essentially that'll be all for this evening. So here it is, the most important scene from a so-so movie that could have massive implications for our world. Here we go. Here comes in. You are under arrest, my lord. Anakin, I told you it would come to this. I was right. The Jedi are taking over. The oppression of the Sith will never return. You have lost. No. 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 You are no. I have the power to save the one you love. You must choose. Don't listen to him, Anakin. Don't let him kill me. I can't hold it any longer. I, 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 I can't. I, I'm weak. I'm too weak. Anakin! Help me! Help me! Uh, uh, I... I... I can't hold on any longer. I am going to end this once and for all. You can't. He must stand trial. He has control of the Senate and the courts. He's too dangerous to be left alive. I'm too weak. Uh, Oh, don't kill me. Please. It's not the Jedi way. He must live. Please don't. I need him. Please don't. No. Fight. 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 Fight.
Done. Yeah, what did you do, man? What in the world? Okay. Unlimited power. Unlimited power. So, we hope that, um, we hope this has, you know, been uh, terrifying and enlightening when you kind of look at it with new eyes and yeah. you see how, God, I hope that doesn't happen here. But... With that being said, we thank everybody for uh, tuning in to this yes. this sidebar, and uh, we'll be back with uh, another another uh, podcast here, and probably in the next couple of days, we're working on something for Australia. Australia, definitely. That's right. It's just uh, going a little slower than we thought. But there's a definitely a lot going on in Australia, and I feel like I wish we would have had a little bit more time tonight, but fortunately, with the babies and the timeline that we have now, it's hard to squeeze in. So yeah get that for the next show so closing thoughts <sighs> i don't know after seeing that i'm just kind of like every time i see that scene i get goosebumps but we put our faith in god yes and there's Always. nothing we can't accomplish so with that being said everybody good night good and night. long live, live liberty. liberty good night everybody